This video is to show you how to set up the operation and troubleshoot methods for the Reno model L1200 detector. With the unit plugged into the 10-pin circular connector and the power turned on, the backlit display should turn on. The LCD will display L35, and this is telling you which firmware the unit is running. With no vehicles in the detect zone, the display will show three dashed lines, and a loop one icon will be on at the bottom left corner of the display. To reset the unit, push the function button on the front panel for three seconds. Pushing the function button for one or two seconds will get you out of program mode. To factory default the detector, pressing all three front panel switches simultaneously and continuously for five seconds. This resets the detector and restores all the factory default settings. The countdown of the five second period is displayed on the LCD. Releasing any of the switches before the countdown ends aborts the full restore operation. Now it is time to set up the detector. Push the function key. At this time, you will see the loop icon flash at the bottom left, and this lets you know that you are in the setup or program mode. Remember, anytime you see the loop icon flashing, you are on this mode. The LCD screen displays the actual loop operating frequency, which makes it easy to quickly identify and eliminate crosstalk in the most difficult to configure locations. There are eight selectable loop frequency settings in the range of 20 to 100 kilohertz. To set the frequency push function key, the display should flash the loop one symbol in the low left side of the screen, and a bar should appear at the top, showing the current frequency of the loop. To change the frequency, use the up or down buttons. Now, push the function key to go to the next setting, sensitivity. While setting sensitivity level, the detection zone should not be occupied. The sensitivity level can be adjusted from one to nine or set to call or off. On the display, you will see sensitivity and the number six, which is the factory default setting. Using the up or down push button will change the sensitivity level. The lowest sensitivity level is one and the highest sensitivity level is nine. The detector will be configured to also place a permanent call by selecting call this setting is one above level nine. With a permanent call, the detect LED will stay on and relay output will stay closed. The detector will be disabled by selecting off. This setting is one below sensitivity level one. If call or off is selected, the LCD flashes the message call or off during normal display mode. It is important to remember that changing the sensitivity level setting will reset the detector. To choose the type of call mode you want, push the function key. You should see the word presence on the screen. This mode provides a call hold time of at least four minutes and typically one to three hours for an automobile or truck. Using the up or down push button, will change the mode setting from presence to pulse mode. And when operating in pulse mode, an output pulse of 125 milliseconds duration is generated for each vehicle entering the loop detection zone. Each detected vehicle is instantly turned out if it remains in the loop detection zone longer than two seconds. This enables detection of subsequent vehicles entering the loop detection zone. After each vehicle leaves the loop detection zone, the detector channel resumes full sensitivity within 0.5 seconds. The next feature, as if you want to put a delay on the call, call delay time can be adjusted from zero to 255 seconds by pressing 
the up or down push button. When the call delay time is set to zero, pressing the down push button steps the value up to 255 seconds. When the call delay time is set to 255 seconds, pressing the up push button steps the value down to zero seconds. During the call delay period, the detect LED flashes at a four hertz rate. The LCD displays a countdown of the call delay time and the output remains inactive. So let's put a five second delay on the unit. Now, push the function buttons on the front panel for two seconds to exit program mode. When a vehicle enters the detection zone, the delay begins to count down from five seconds. At the end of the delay time, the output activates, the LED turns on, and the LCD screen should read call. The factory default setting of the call delay time is zero seconds. Now, the following feature is call extension time. You can adjust this value from zero to 25.5 seconds by pressing the up or down push button. When the call extension time is set to zero, pressing the down push button steps the value up to 25.5 seconds. When the call extension time is set to 25.5 seconds, pressing the up push button steps the value down to zero. So now let's put a three second extension on the unit. Now push the function buttons on the front panel for two seconds to reset the unit. Once the car leaves the loop, the extension period begins. The detect LED flashes at a 16 hertz rate and the LCD displays a countdown of the call extension time. When a vehicle leaves the detection zone, the output remains active until the extension time reaches zero. The factory default setting of a call extension time is zero seconds. The next two features are max, present time, and end of green, or EOG. Both of these features are primarily used in a traffic signal scenario. So we will cover this in another video. So let's talk about all of the option features the L1200 detector comes with. Options one and two allows you to change the display feature of the detector. Option one shows a loop inductance in micro Henry's. To activate, push function key until you see on the screen the number one in the word option. To activate this function, push the up or down button two to toggle off and on this function. When option one is off, the LCD indicates three dashed lines during a no call state. When the vehicle enters the detector zone, the word call will display on the LCD screen and the strength bar will show the magnitude of the call. When option one is on and the detector is operating in normal display mode, the LCD continuously indicates the loop inductance value with the letter L equals and a number 106 which is in microhenries. The display shows three digits if the inductance is between 15 and 999 microhenries. If the inductance is greater than 999 microhenries, the display alternately flashes between one or two and the lower three digits. The combination of the one and three digit displays represent inductance values from 1000 to 2,500 microhenries. When a vehicle is detected, the call is indicated by means of the detect LED and LCD bar graph display. Option two shows the percentage loop inductance change. To activate this feature, you use the up or down push button to toggle between on and off. When option two is off, the LCD indicates a steady call when a vehicle is detected. When option two is on, the LCD indicates the 
data L over L value when a vehicle is detected. So the LCD indicates shows three dashed lines with no cars in the loop detection zone. When a vehicle is in the zone, a number will appear and the strength bar will show the magnitude of the call. Both of these options will automatically be disabled 15 minutes after activation or on loss of power. Option 3, 4, 5, and 12 are features primarily used in a traffic signal scenario. So we will cover this in another video. Option 11 makes the detector audible. When option 11 is on and in the presence mode, an audible signal is emitted as long as the detection zone is occupied. If the detector channel is set to operate in pulse mode, the audible signal is emitted for a period of two seconds. Delay and extension time have no effect on the audible signal. Option 11 will automatically turn off after 15 minutes. The factory default setting of option 11 is off. Now that we have gone over the features and options of the Model L1200 detector, let me show you with the detector set in factory default setting how it operates. With the Model L1200 detector is first turn on the LCD display, we'll show you a L35. This is letting you know that the firmware version is on the unit. With no vehicle in the loop detect zone, the display indicates three dashed lines. A circle C, which is the copyright logo, the word presence, letting you know what detect mode you're in, and solid or steady loop icon, letting you know that the detector is in operational status and not program mode. When a car is in the loop detect zone, the Model L1200 detector detect light should illuminate red. This is to let you know that there is a vehicle over the loop. The LCD will display call, and on the top of the display, the strength bar will show the magnitude of the call. At this point, the unit will activate the output relay. The relay will stay activated until the vehicle leaves. Now, let's talk about if you have issues with the detector. If the backlight for the LCD does not illuminate with the unit plugged into power, you may have a power issue. You should check the input voltage to the unit. To check the voltage, you will need a voltmeter. Look on the side of the detector unit and see what the voltage should be, knowing that you should set your meter to measure that voltage. For example, if it's a 1200 volt AC unit, you, for example, if it's a 120 volt AC unit, you should set your meter to the AC reading. If it's 24 to 48 volt DC, you should set it to the DC reading. Once you set the meter, take one of the two probes and input into pin one of the socket and the other put into pin two of the socket. And make sure that the meter is reading the correct voltage for the detector you're using. If the power is reading what you need, there may be an issue with the unit. If the power is wrong, you need to take care of the power supply before the unit will work. If the total inductance of the loop input goes out of the range for the detector, the detector will enter the fail-safe mode and a loop fail will be displayed at the bottom of the LCD. The type of loop failure will also be displayed as LLO, shorted loop, or L high open loop. The type of loop failure will also be displayed as L low shorted loop or L high open loop. This will continue as long as the loop fault exists. Fail safe mode generates a continuous call in presence mode and in pulse mode. At the time of a loop failure, the detect LED will begin to flash at a rate of three flashes per second. The LED will continue this display pattern until the detector is manually reset or power is removed. The detector has a self-healing feature. 
If the fault issue is resolved, the detect LED will remain flashing at a rate of three flashes per second. This is to let you know that you had an issue with the detector and you should check your setup. To troubleshoot this issue, look to make sure that the loop is connected. Most of the time it is a loose wire connection or the lead-in wire has been cut or shorted. If you cannot find an issue, then you will need to test the loop. Let's reset the unit to put it back to normal operation. This is the basic operation of the Reno Model L 1200 detector.